Tesla's secret plan to disrupt aviation. Hey guys, today we're going to look at how Tesla's rapid growth and innovations in the battery sector is going to disrupt the aviation industry through the creation of fast-moving VTOLs. This will be great for the environment, as CO2 aviation emissions have nearly doubled over the past decade. Stick around to the end of the video to find out what Tesla's main challenge is in implementing their eco-friendly aircraft. If you have watched the cartoon show The Jetsons, then you have an idea of the potential of flying cars. While the ideas look too futuristic in a world of rapid innovations, Tesla may have the answer. Elon Musk, who is known not to shy away from controversy, hinted that his company is on its way to making VTOL craft. Musk has been toying with the idea for a while and remains firmly committed that Tesla will be on the forefront in creating batteries to make this happen. To do this, Tesla has to develop a 400 watt hour battery that will help the VTOL craft rise from the ground. For Tesla, the company will have to have a team of aircraft engineers, which they can easily get from their other company, SpaceX. For batteries, this should not be that hard as the company has been on the forefront of producing low-cost, efficient batteries. As the company continues to improve their batteries, this plan is possible in the near future. Airlines have been contributing big towards carbon emissions in the world, and the invention of battery-operated VTOLs will help reduce the carbon emission footprint. The Future of Vertical Takeoff and Landing VTOL. Many people foresee a future where VTOL will become the new taxis in the skies. The crafts can take off and land in anywhere, and it will be common for large buildings to feature landing space for them. The craft will take you to your desired destination in speed and avoid traffic jams, experienced in most urban cities. However, before we can get there, there's a lot of regulation and safety regulations that have to be met. This will mean getting in touch with all aspects of aviation certification and flight standards. What are the benefits of VTOLs? Infrastructure challenges. As urban population keeps rising, it poses various congestion issues and competition for space. Since the VTOL can take off and land almost anywhere, they do cut short runway requirements as they do not require much space. If you can reduce the number of passengers driving their own cars on a daily basis, in preference for VTOL, then you will have reduced carbon emissions in a way. The VTOLs can be used for both passenger and cargo transportation. Challenges faced in the introduction of VTOLs to the market. Airspace management. One of the key challenges to the introduction of VTOLs is how to keep the airspace safe for all parties. The problem is how to balance between the established air traffic control ATC, and then unmanned traffic management systems UTM. This will mean the players like Tesla will need to be issued with permits and the VTOL industry develop a system to control their crafts. The technology isn't hard to get, it's how to balance these existing aircrafts. Certification Most of the certification in the aerospace relates to fixed-wing aircrafts. There is little in terms of certification for VTOLs. If you look at most countries, they are still grappling with regulation for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, like drones. VTOLs are more complicated because you have to think of the safety of the passengers. One of the biggest contributors to air pollution is the high proliferation of cars in big cities. If Tesla and other automobiles can come up with efficient ways of transportation, that will bring this down. Legal Implications Once the regulations have been put in place, you have to consider the various legal implications for how to allocate risks in case of accidents. There is need for contractual agreements and insurance policies to be put in place before you open up the VTOL to public transportation. There are also certain environmental laws that need to be considered in regards to noise pollution. One will also need to consider who will be inspecting the VTOLs before they take off, like it's done with other aircraft. Opening these vehicles in a world of terrorist attacks will also need to be considered. The operator's liability exposure for VTOL could be extensive, 
if you imagine a craft crashing into busy city traffic. The damage would be extensive, as you have to consider loss of life and property. As for insurance, there are companies that will be willing to handle VTOLs. The question is how this will fit into their existing business models. Since these crafts will be constantly in the air, then it means that aircraft regulators will require a minimum insurance coverage to govern liability exposure. This will need more innovations from the insurance companies. Tesla Competition Tesla isn't the only company that's thinking of VTOLs. In January 2020, at the Consumer Electronics Show, over 20,000 attendees were treated to the Hyundai Uber SA1, a personal air vehicle, PAV. This electrical vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL prototype was built by Uber and Hyundai. While the craft is a prototype, it has been designed to fly like a real VTOL. Biggest Hurdle for VTOL One of the biggest problems to putting VTOLs into our airspace is the need for a powerful battery. What we call energy density, powerful enough to lift off the plane from the ground. Tesla has been in the forefront when it comes to producing efficient batteries. Its Model 3, for example, has a density of 250 watt-hours per kilogram. When it comes to powering a jet, you will need around 400 watt-hours per kilogram or higher. When Musk was put to the task, when the public should expect such kind of battery, he approximated that we are three to four years away. While Musk has not committed Tesla to actually making a jet, they are on the path of producing more powerful and efficient batteries. From the table, you can note that Tesla has a solid lead in the car battery market through their Powerwall and Tesla car batteries. The company is the most suitable to make VTOL batteries. The company may not want to focus so much on building jets at the moment, as they are very committed in delivery of their Tesla cars, improving battery storage and solar energy. All these require extensive capital deployments and research. But the plan for a VTOL would align well with Tesla's plan to provide clean energy to the world. Elon Musk is also talking big about Tesla's plan to launch people into space. Many have predicted that the world as we know it is facing a massive depletion in natural resources, and soon we may find ourselves extinct. There are also those who envision an apocalyptic end to the world as we know it through uncontrollable AI robots. The game plan is to launch people into Mars and have them settle there. SpaceX has been at the forefront in launching man to the International Space Station and back. The company has built reusable space rockets at a fraction of the cost. As reusable rockets continue being updated, it is envisioned that more people are going to be exploring space travel. Would you consider riding in a VTOL? How safe do you think these flying objects will be in the future? Be sure to tell us in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and hit subscribe button if you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.